Disclaimer, the following is a parody of Cinema 6 Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you go watch their content first. With this in mind, any personal bias towards the show in question will not interfere with the content of the video. This video is not meant to be taken seriously, nor is it meant to offend the creators of the show in question, the show in question itself, or anyone who likes the show in question. Finally, all copyrighted material belongs to its respective owners. Thank you, and please enjoy the video. Sadie, better hurry up, I'm gonna lock you in. Even as a joke, Lars is addicted to Sadie. We're barely 10 seconds into the episode and we've already had a jump scare. That social napalm? Google gives this definition for napalm, so I shall now forever see Ronaldo as highly flammable jelly. I got better things to do than wax weird- Wax weird. <laughs> Lars? Oh. How are his glasses behind that mask without being crushed, pushed right up against his face, or somehow fold away? You're friends with Lars? Yeah, isn't everybody? Oh, for the love of... Evil Bear 2! Barely alive! I can't do it, John! I can't fucking do it anymore! Also, apparently Lenny's can possess movie covers, too. Hmm... Blasphemer! Blasphemer. Whoa, man, take it down a notch. Lars would be good at cinema sins. I can only see half of that face, but I'm sure it's priceless. Maybe it's a ghost? <laughs> good one. Sadie would be good at cinema sins. Spirit, I beseech you! Oy vey. <laughs> that was a good sign. Could you send a couple more like that just to be sure? Ronaldo's a dick to Lars. This is amazing! A real life haunted house! Are you f***ing blind to the imminent death you could be suffering from right now? I had no idea there was this violent of a presence here. It happens. No, it doesn't. It's not a ghost. You know you gotta be acting really stupid when Lars is the most sane and relatable one around here. We're all just hearing things and seeing things and feeling things that aren't real. So every single person is hearing, seeing, and feeling the exact same stuff that isn't real. Seems likely. Wait, no it doesn't. <laughs> so Lars knows how to dodge attacks, but the gems, with increased strength and fighting knowledge, don't dodge in earlier episodes? Just let that sink in for a moment. How can you listen to this weird guy? He practically lives in a haunted house. Don't you think maybe he had something to do with it? Oh my god, Lars would be amazing at Cinema Sins. I think you can stop being such a dink to Ronaldo. You wanted to say dick, didn't you? We've got to ditch these guys, come on. And Lars lost my respect in two measly seconds. That's a new record. I don't see her anywhere! Of course you don't, dumbass! It's pitch black in the f***ing room! No need to state the obvious! Spirit! I deliver the package of darkness! Has everyone just gone mental? Uh, Wait a minute, listen to Lars very carefully here. Uh, Did you hear it? One more time. Uh, That's the same voice clip from Joking Victim! Oh! Uh, uh, what, was the budget not big enough for one more groaning voice clip? F***ing cheapskates. This is the perfect clubhouse for the Beach City Explorer Club! Okay, this just makes me wonder even more about Pearl's hologram powers. If this gem has it, then does that mean this gem is a pearl? It doesn't look like a pearl, so does this mean other types of gems have the same power? How many gems have this power? Will we ever get to see what this gem is? I'm taking the risk of this sin being horribly outdated by the end of Steven Universe, but right now, none of this is ever explained. It just has holographic powers just for a way to shoehorn in Lars and Ronaldo's backstory. Brilliant. Pretty metal, huh? Pretty metal. When you turn on the TV tomorrow, this is what's gonna be on every station! That doesn't even look like a ghost in the picture, it just looks like someone playing a mean prank on the poor kid. What's the matter with you? Don't you know how important this was? You valued that discovery over one of your only friends? Some friend you are. You wouldn't say that if you knew what other people say about you! And you aren't much better, jackass! Seriously, it's like everyone wants to dick flick each other in this episode. Oh well, yeah, uh, we we're both worried about. I mean, I ran down here faster. F*** you, asshole! 
I wasn't trying to make you look bad. Ah, uh, whatever, it didn't matter, I don't care! For f**k's sake, you won't even let him apologize! God, I thought you were actually gonna be a decent character in this episode. That maybe once you'd actually be likable due to your commentary on people too obsessed with paranormal bullshit. But then halfway through the episode, you just became a huge dick. Until season 5 rolls around, seriously. Hashtag Lars sucks. No! Hello there, motherfuckers. It is now about time I launch my- yeah! Ouch, who fucking dares? <laughs> What kind of fucking crack have you been smoking, son? Get out of my fucking void, you degenerate! Fuck off, oh, for I'll make it so you never want again! Yeah, 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 yeah. For fuck's sake, I have to remember to close my goddamn back door more often! Hold it! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, blenders of all ages, it's an everything wrong with double feature. Man, take man, whoa, whoa, take man down a notch. Man down, man down, whoa, whoa, man down, man down, man down, whoa, whoa, man down. Yeah!